All right, folks, this is day two's reading passage. Now, I'm not always going to do that, but I'm going to do it this time where I'm going to read it out loud because we're gonna prompt our brain and how to be a critical reader. And I often say it, you're a detective. You're a text detective. So I want you to do it. We're gonna, I'm gonna read it out loud. This one might be a little long because we're gonna go back. But even if I'm not reading the re reading passage from now on, I want you to use these skills. I know you guys are out, you, we haven't been together as long um, for, or for so long, but I say the same things all the time, all the time. So I want you to use them. So we're gonna look at page six. This is day two's reading comprehension passage. So the only way to be a good reader is to read. That's it. You wanna improve, you gotta read. That's it. So find ways to Get involved with the text. So we're gonna look at reading the passage, then answer the questions. First thing you always do is read the directions. So this is called Giant Sequoias. You're gonna follow along with me, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is read the passage. I know that I have questions I have to answer, but I'm not going to look at those questions until I've read it the first time. All right, ready? Giant Sequoias. The first giant sequoia tree probably, Follow along with me. Use your finger if you have to. Track it along. Um, because this is just me showing you how to do it right now. Um, some I will read, but for right now. Let's try it again. Track it. Follow along. The first giant sequoia trees probably started growing in North America about 180 million years ago. Giant sequoia trees can live more than 3,000 years. For the first 250 years, giant sequoias look like small pine trees. They reach their full height when they are about 500 years old. The giant sequoia tree can grow as tall as a 25-story building. That's about 250 feet, 76 meters tall. Some trees have grown up to 30 feet, nine meters wide, as wide as a three-lane highway. The largest giant sequoia living today is named General Sherman. General Sherman is over 274 feet, 83 meters tall. There are not many sequoias alive today. Millions of years ago, sequoias grew across North America. Then the weather turned colder. These trees needed the warm weather to live. Now, when people visit the remaining sequoia forests, they drive and walk over the ground. This makes the ground hard. The sequoia's roots have a difficult time absorbing water in hard ground or in the hard ground. This is killing some of the trees. However, some people take home seeds when they f visit the sequoia forest. They plant the seeds all over the world. Someday these seeds may develop into new forests. Okay, you are a text detective. You are going to look for the clues. You have to prove it. Remember, I've said this a lot. You know, let's say I say, Brian stole the Chromebook. I can't just go to the police and say, Brian stole the Chromebook. I have to have some evidence to support that statement. You are gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna look at the questions. We're gonna read the questions. And then we're gonna go through and reread that text. And if you feel like you wanna have a highlighter with you, you can have a highlighter if we come along with it. But you are going to reread. Reread, reread, reread. I know it's annoying, but like I've said a lot of times, I'm 39 years old, done a lot of college. I have to reread it. So if you don't think you don't need to, you might need to. All right, so number 15, how long does it take a giant sequoia tree to reach its full height? Hmm, I'm gonna look for that. Number 16, and you don't have to re read all of the questions if you'd like. If you wanna go one, go back to the text, reread it. Go two, go back to the text. I'm gonna go over all the questions for the sake of this video. And then, um, but we know we're going back to that text. So, and we're not reading it just once. Number 16, how tall is the largest giant sequoia tree living today? Number 17, why are fewer giant sequoias alive today than in the past? Okay. Number 18, what are two things that giant sequoias need in order to survive? And number 19, what details does the author provide to support the topic sentence of the second paragraph? 
Now, you are gonna go back. You are going to reread this text. I'm not gonna reread it. I want you to reread that text. And as you come to an answer, you can highlight it or you can go back if you feel like you wanna. It sometimes is easier to reread all of the text again. Reread it all over again and then go back and start answering the questions. Don't reread it just in little pieces. Oh, I found that answer. Reread it and then come back. You can highlight. Um, in a lot of cases, you know, I like them in, you, to answer in complete sentences. There's not space, um, but for 17, 18, 19, you should be able to write in complete sentences your response. And remember, we start that by restating. So if the question is what, number 17, why are fewer, fewer giant sequoias alive today than in the past? We're gonna restate the question into a statement. So the question was, why are fewer giant sequoias alive today than in the past? Okay, when we respond and we answer, we say, there are fewer giant sequoias alive today in the past because, I know we're restating the beginning of the question, but if you are like me, and I always think, oh, how am I gonna get this started? That's where we've talked about this. Getting it started sometimes is our most difficult thing. If you're like, oh my gosh, how do I get it started? Restate what the question was asking you. So that's day two of our reading passage. I want you to go right now, reread it, and check it over. Then find the answers. You are the detective. You need to find the evidence, and all of it is in there. Okay, good luck, guys.